Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie and this is My Lavender Pages and we're here to plan the second full week in July, week 28. And just to kind of give you an overview, this is how my habit tracker is turning out so far. Then I have my weather tracker, sleep tracker, and self-care tracker. So far, there's not much on there. Um, this is how the current week turned out. I really like the quotes that I put in there. And here we go. So I had to run and get my little cheater calendar so I knew what my work schedule was gonna look like. Um, I keep this in my purse and I don't take my big planner with me. I'm kind of thinking next year I'll get the A6 Traveler notebook from Hobonichi so that it, I can tear the pages out if I want to. So we're going to use the Harry Potter tape from Paper House Productions and this is the House Shield tape and I use this down towards the bottom to kind of cut off about the time I go to bed and then underneath I put my priorities for the week um, and I kind of space them out for different days and I call them my daily chore list. So that's what I'm doing right now is putting that washi tape down. And I've kind of had this layout for a while and it's really worked for me. When I do my sticker kits, I use the washi from my sticker kits, but I have run out of paper and I haven't done stickers since May. I'm hoping to get some paper in before the end of this month so I can start doing stickers in August. And then up at the top, I put the house name Skinny Washi Tape, also from Paper House Productions. And I just put this down about the time I wake up in the morning. And then along the top, I put my weather. My color coding is the same. It doesn't change and blue is always my work schedule. So that's what I'm putting in right now. And because of COVID and the type of work I do my schedule has been changing every week so I always have to double check it on my work computer and then double check it on my calendar and then double check it again on my work computer so that I don't forget what times I start to work and with my color coding so I have the same base colors I have blue green orange red and yellow and purple and each color stays this means the same thing every time I just change out the shade that's the only difference so blue is always work and I don't really get much done like I don't have much to schedule because of the lovely COVID thing that's going around so I found my grape my soft brush Fudenosuke pen and we are going camping over the weekend so I just wrote that down here We'll do some fun brush lettering. This video is sped up twice as fast, so I normally don't write this fast. Um, my daughter's birthday is this week, and so we always take her up to her favorite swimming place in Idaho when we can't have a birthday party. And right this year is not a good year to do a kid birthday party. And then this is the Quidditch skinny washi tape also from paper house productions and i got this whole set on amazon for a really good deal and i'll make sure i link that down below and then this is my soft tip fudonosuke pen so we're gonna put my daughter's birthday on there and again i normally do not write this fast i'm quite a bit slower and then we're gonna put work in I don't like how I write the letter K. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it so that I like it, but it just, it never turns out the way I picture it in my head. It's kind of frustrating. All right. Okay, so that is done. And this coming week is not our week to go to church, so I don't put that on there. And then, I get out my monster book of stickers. I switched to the traveler's notebook that it was normally in. This is a waypoint in, oh crud, I can't remember which brown it is. It's the one that they're still selling and I absolutely love it and I just couldn't stick it in a drawer. So I put my sticker book in there and I just got some 
birthday confetti and put it over the birthday because it's clear so it almost doesn't even look like it's there. And then I get out my quote book. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will see this book on occasion. I put in quotes that I collect and I just hand letter them and I keep them all in this book. So right here are the Harry Potter quotes that I've collected that I'm using this month. And so I go over to my sidebar and hand letter that into my sidebar. And it takes me just a couple of minutes. That is my pencil board. I'm, oh, my daughter just sneezed. That's my pencil board. I made it myself. I have the black and white line drawing washi stickers from AliExpress. And then I just put a quote and it's on very, very heavy cardstock. And then I cut it out and round the corners with my corner rounder. Oh, she just sneezed again. Then I just keep this in place of normally the day that I'm on is where it usually sits. But I like how the flowers kind of stick out of the top. With the black notebook that I'm using, it makes it look really pretty and classy. So we're just working on the quote. I tend, I put a different quote and on every day and so I tend to take the ones that are a bit longer and put those in my weekly spreads because I can't fit them on the dailies oh my goodness she just sneezed again I think she might have an allergy attack Since I don't have very much going on the weekend, I decided to do another quote. This one's even longer than the first one, and we're going to put it over the weekend pages. Or the weekend columns, not pages, the weekend columns. Oh no, it looks like my camera cut out. So I didn't get to finish that quote on camera, but there it is down at the bottom. Um, so along the bottom, like I said, I put my daily chores and I also track the COVID cases in my county. I use the washi tape on this card and kind of mask off the very bottom row of my week. And then I use my gray Tombow dual brush pen to gray it out just along that whole row. That way it separates it from my daily chores and I know exactly what that whole row means at the end of the week. I am in Salt Lake County here in the state of Utah and we are the most densely populated county in this state. So the majority of our cases in the state come from Salt Lake County, which is really fascinating to track and a little bit scary because our numbers just, they just keep going up. Um, up and up and up and it's interesting I started tracking this the end of March into the first part of April and it's been a very interesting system to kind of watch I use the weather channel app to track the cases because I like the way that they have them listed on their app it makes it very easy to write down and that just about does it. So if you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you are all doing well and staying safe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.